the real fans would love it. It would be good, but like as far as conversation, we've never really had Mario do a conversation like that for like thirty minutes. Then he shouldn't talk in the movie. That's the point. <laughs> Keep yeah, Mario's not a talking dude. He's about his action. He could play baseball, tennis. He's a plumber. <laughs> he, he does all this other stuff. He, he competed in the Olympics. In the Olympics, he's an Olympian. <laughs> but you know what? He's not a talker because he's too busy training. <laughs> Too busy getting right. He's too busy coming to the switch. Mario, stand up. Exactly. (laughs) Mario, open mic. You think he won't do it? He'll be amazing at it. Yeah. And he'll start spitting. Let me tell you about Princess Pizza's pussy. What up, guys? Jared Ralphie Allen here, and it's another episode of Unloading Meat. Yes, we are already up to episode 12 today, and my guest is the one and only Cepeda Cheeks Jr. Yeah, guys, Cepeda is the co-host of the open mic at the Cellar Dweller on Sundays in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We had a great conversation, as you can probably tell by the intro. Uh, We had a variety of topics to choose from, and uh, yeah, we covered a lot of bases. Um, guys, it's a great conversation. If you like this content, as always, make sure to like, share, subscribe, do what you can to help out Tulsa Comedy, help out unloading meat, and you know, help me unload that meat. What's up, guys? Just a quick update. I wanted to give out my next dates. Yeah. You know, the goal of this is, you know, help get me my stand-up career going, so I gotta give you the dates. So, April 29th, I just accepted this offer, this amazing opportunity by the one and only joe miller i am going to be doing a show at the go theater in broken arrow once again like i said by, uh hosted by joe miller more details to come but that will be april 29th 8 p.m come see it come see me out there uh it's gonna be my largest set to date guys i'm really excited about it it's a great opportunity want to thank joe miller again for that opportunity and then may 5th cinco de mayo the one and only brett jeffries invited me to do the riff show this is a monthly show, guys. I'm so excited for that. Um, thank you, Brett, for the opportunity. Once again, that's May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. And then April 29th, BA, Go Theater. Come check us out, guys. Let's get into the episode. All right, guys. My next guest is the hilarious co-host of the Cellar Dweller Open Mic, the one and only Cepeda Cheeks. What's going on, Cepeda? Uh, what's going on? Uh... What's up, man? Thank you for What's coming on the on? show, man. Thank you for having me. No problem. Uh, a bit of a drive, a little bit. Uh, but it's worth it, I hope. Yeah, yeah. I love to see you. <laughs> I, you have this interesting collection, man. This is crazy. I've never just seen... This looks like the inside of a Toys R Us. This yeah. Is, I mean, this is why they closed. <laughs> they have them in Europe still. I yeah, in like, Canada. Yeah. Can, I, I want to go to Canada, man. All the AEW wrestlers go to Canada, and they get the, like, the, the Toys R Us experience still. For real? Yeah. Man, you might need to go. Yeah, I mean they have, they still sell stuff like Walmart. And yeah, stuff. but like there, like I know like Ethan Page when he does his toy vlogs, it goes to Canada. All the exclusives that you would see, like Ringside Collectibles, or like you know any of those uh, retailer exclusives like GameStop, Walmart. When you go to Canada, it's just all that Toys R Us. So you just go to an AEW aisle. It's every single thing AEW ever sold is just on that aisle. Really? If you go to Pops, Funkos, anything that's like exclusive in America, all these different retailers in Canada, it's just a Toys R Us. Is what I've seen is like they have all the condensed got, down there. They just it's just the, like, everything toy. It worked <laughs> like yeah. If it really? honestly, if they would have done that here, I think they would have been a lot more successful. Probably so. But that that company was I horribly like, ran. <laughs> I feel like with the rise of technology, nobody cares about toys anymore. Like yeah. just, some people, you know, some people like you know the classics. Or whatnot. Well, and then as the economy changes and like standards change, I mean, there's even like the pushback. I don't know if you've seen like the late, latest Hasbro's. They stopped doing the window packaging to where you can't see the oh, actual figure. It. It's just a cardboard box with a picture on it. And then you open it up and then your figure's inside, which means it's hilarious. Most of the time it leads to either paint apps being horrible. You don't know until you buy it and get it home or somebody's already stolen it at the store and you have no idea. <laughs> That's hilarious. So people are boycotting like the entire Hasbro lines now, because all of Hasbro is going to that. Hey, sometimes to save the economy or save the, ec- the what do you call it, the ecosystem and stuff like that. Yeah, that's fine. The eco-friendly them. packaging. Hasbro might have to die. Yeah, it's okay. But they own Black like all my childhood, die. man. 
hey, I love Blockbuster, and Blockbuster's gone now. I and love Blockbuster. We're gonna get down to like idiocracy days where it's like, man, there's only like five companies that own everything. That's what's gonna happen. I mean, we're getting there. I drive for Amazon. I drive for Amazon, and I can't believe that it's an app where I can deliver Amazon's packages for my car, and they pay me. Yeah. I once delivered a package to myself. <laughs> it's it, we're in times are near. Yeah, they're on. I'm delivering to myself. Now? That's that's the way I felt about DoorDash, man. Like there's times where when I had my roommate here, like uh, that I would go be like, "Hey, you gonna do want Sonic?" And he's like, "Sure." I was like, "Okay, I'll buy it. I'll just flag my DoorDash." And he doesn't order, and it goes to me, and then I go pick it up and drop it off. And that's why I my last order. Of the happened night. to me once too. A friend of mine, he was delivering. He was driving. So we were in the army, but he worked part time. For pizza hut and i'd ordered a pizza one day and he called me he's like hey man i'm about to pull up i'm thinking you know to hang out I'm yeah like, yeah pull up bro and then he's like hey i'm outside i'm like come out bro he was like bro i got your pizza come down here and i was like <laughs> oh i was like oh oh i thought you'd be a good friend like pull it up yeah hey bro i'm on the just wanted to see you man <laughs> no bro i got your pizza didn't even leave me a tip Honestly, man, like the worst experience I ever had uh, delivery drivers, pizza deliveries. Like I used to work at a cell phone store. I'm not gonna say it on camera, but uh, we worked right next to a Papa John's, and uh, that Papa John's, even though they're right next door, they wouldn't deliver to us. They wouldn't bring it over. They were like, just nah. Like, oh, you're close. You can just come over and get it yourself. We're like, no, nah, okay. Like, I, I get it. I get it. you guys are busy. Something like that, <laughs> but like, <laughs> like. Then they'd be like, well, like they knew that we wouldn't tip them very well. I'm like, well, because you're not giving us shit. Like you're not doing a shit to us. Why would I tip you? <laughs> like, I'm picking it up myself. Yeah. You just did the necessary thing. You made it. That's yeah. it. Why would I tip you? That's like there's a there's a there's a local steakhouse steakhouse uh, near my house, and I get burgers there and stuff like that. And it's just a good to, go, to go window. You just do your phone to order and pick it up. And every time you do that, the lady that's checking you out is like, "You want to leave a tip?" I'm like. No. For who? No. Like, what did you do? You, like, is it going to the cook? If it goes to the cook or somebody, maybe. But, like, where's it going? <laughs> I paid my parking ticket the other day. The lady at the window said, you want to leave me a tip? I said, no. No. <laughs> Get a better job? I don't know what no. tip you want. <laughs> no. Leave a tip. <sighs> Just the tip. I leave. <laughs> I tip, like, you know. Consensually. Service. Consensually, I will say. I Just the tip. As always. As, As always. always. I'm, a, I'm a gentleman. I, I assumed that about you. Yeah. I said, the first thing I thought when I walked, that's this guy's a gentleman. I, I'm glad. This I'm guy's. glad. Most people just see obesity and then move on. <laughs> it's because people don't look at the person inside first. The diabetes? Um, the diabetes. You got diabetes? <laughs> no, <Nah>, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> Thin route. No, nah, I'm, I'm trying to lose the weight. I'm trying to do better. Uh, like I, I'm sure you've heard my sets. There's there's a couple bits in there where I say like I lost like 70 pounds. Like that's true. Like I'm actually down like 70 pounds this year. Congratulations. So, trying. Like not do. I'm not like out there. You know, running laps and shit every day. I'm just trying to eat better, make better choices, and just trying to be on my feet more. That's all you got to do, really. And not be so fucking depressed. <laughs> that's literally what it is. Yeah, I depression definitely gave me about 30 pounds when COVID hit. Man, I was just so depressed yeah and i just gained a lot of weight yeah and then one day i was like hey actually i know what changed my mind uh this lady is a white girl and she just said you got a big ass butt and i said it's time <laughs> to get in the gym <laughs> just felt, she felt the need to tell i got cat called i was like it's time to get healthy I threw out all the cakes and shit in my <laughs> that's throw that out that's what i'm saying man like <sighs> Yeah, that would be a wake up call. Yeah, man. Shame is good sometimes. Yeah, you know, bullying's good sometimes. Sometimes, as long as it doesn't lead like run your life. Cause <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you gotta get like negative influence gets you in the right direction sometimes. I I, I guess you could say like it's kind of like anything is moderation. I mean, exactly. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's a reason something exists. Yeah. In the world, but you can't consume too much of it. Yeah. Because then it'll control you. Yep. Like. We're spending out life lessons on unloading meat today. Yeah, we unloading. We are meaty life lessons <laughs> for you. That's what we do for you. I mean, we often say that this chair is therapeutic here, man, and like, there's things that come out on here that 
we weren't planning on, but like I, I welcome it, and it's just like whatever the conversation goes to, we go to. I always plan to say unplanned things. Oh, really? You always expect the unexpected because the unexpected is gonna happen. Yeah, like zombies. Exactly. I pay. I take notes on the Last of Us. <laughs> I yeah, I, I definitely. <laughs> So I, you said cordyceps? Cordyceps, <laughs> mushrooms. I said I'll never eat a mushroom again. <laughs> the the <laughs> detail, man, on that. Oh my! Did you? Wa- I'm sure you watched it, right? Mm-hmm. I watched think? it and played it. Oh, uh, both. I'm I'm replaying uh, part one right now as I finish the game. I think they wrapped it. I guess because they went through everything, but I also feel like it was too short. I feel like they could use one more episode. Yeah, I feel like, like it should have been ten. Yeah, like split the hospital stuff in half or something. Yeah, because like. It, Honestly, they needed something like there was one guy uh, who was a uh, Mark Bernardin. He is like the co-host with Kevin Smith on like the Fat Man Beyond. I'm not, uh, I'm not hip to it. Uh, he's just Kevin Smith from Gay and Silent Bob. Uh, Kevin, he's, Smith, he's Kevin Smith is Silent Bob. Son of Bob? Yeah, he's Silent Silent Bob. Silent Bob. Sorry, I have a little speech impediment. Uh, silent Bob is Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith is Paul Blart, right? No, that's Kevin James. My bad. Got my Kevin's mix. <laughs> Not all white dudes look the same. Okay? It's just Kevin. <laughs> that, no, 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 no. It's Kevin. Uh, Kevin Hart. Kevin Durant. I, that's two black Kevins right that's, there. That's true. Okay, we're back. We're back. Uh, I need a... I need Kevin space. Spacey. Well, we're not going to talk about Kevin Spacey. I was not going <laughs> to mention Kevin Spacey at all. <laughs> just like Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Zero, zero... <laughs> Zero mention of Kevin Spacey. Uh, Redicated. Especially on unloading meat. <laughs> yeah. Redicated Spacey. Redicated. <coughs> uh, did you ever see that? Now I'm, I'm, it's on my mind. Did you ever see his like rebuttal like video Kevin Spacey did? Like, like he's like in character? No, I did not watch it. Was, it. it was pretty. But I'm sure it's ridiculous. It was like as his character Frank Underwood from that show House of Cards. Oh, like, so he acted as a character. Maybe. Basically, like it was like if he was like talking to the because like in that show, I don't know if you watched it. Like he would like routinely like talk to the camera, like a fourth person. Like, I never wall. seen the show, but it, I heard I know people that have. It was kind of like Deadpool, where like he would break the fourth wall and talk to the camera sometimes. Are you one of those people, yeah. He's so a fourth wall breaker, yeah. So he's like becomes president in the show, it's and like, like me looking at the camera right now, like yeah, and like so like he would just do that, and he would be like. Well, thinks really, what I would do like is this. Thinks he's an office character. Or yeah. Something? Ah. But he did an entire interview afterwards, or like a little like like ten minute little rant video in character like that, talking to the camera as oh, if he's it was a like psychopath. A, yeah. yeah, he's a psychopath about he why he couldn't possibly do it and how he couldn't do it and stuff. And it's hilarious to watch because you're just like this dude is a psychopath. Oh, he's spiraling. Yeah, <laughs> you do, you're spiraling. He's yeah. a little spacey. Oh, uh, a little. Yeah, I reach for that. You reach for that. I did. You got something. I got something. Touching it. Oh, I feel proud when a black person says that. Hey. <laughs> it's white people that play basketball. <laughs> not this short white fat, fat guy. <laughs> yeah, not you at all. I, you know, I was. he seems like a basketball player, and then I'm glad you confirmed. No, I can just only wear basketball shorts most of the time. <laughs> Stretchy it's, material. It's funny how most basketball shorts purchases don't lead to basketball playing. Yeah, right? That's hilarious. Just nowadays, people don't, people don't wear Jordans. To play basketball. They'd be like, I'm not wearing these to play basketball. And like, for, for fashion. The greatest basketball player ever. You won't wear his shoes to play basketball. I might anymore. scuff him up. The greatest. You got to wear a shoe. If I'm trying to play the best I can at a sport, I want to wear what the GOAT's wearing. Yeah, I agree. I don't understand. That's like me. Uh, what's what's? Uh, I'm reaching for an analogy now. It's just like, you know, with stock X prices now, you can't really afford to Also, play. yeah. <laughs> It's like when the young bucks. I've literally given up on tennis shoes. I see. I have a, a big ass foot and a thick foot, so I never even could have. I can't even wear Nikes. Yeah, me so, too. So like that was never even an issue. So like fashion sneakers have never been a thing for me personally because I never could fit into a lot of sneakers. Mm-hmm. Like I was the guy that like, oh god, I can fit into a pair of Skechers, I guess, because they're wide width, and I can wear like New Balance and some other shit. I always wore like the the old man shoes for the most part because like I couldn't get my fat ass foot in a lot of Nikes or Reebok or anything like that. I relate to that. I also, as a kid, I had a very abnormally big foot. Yeah, it was actually really annoying because I wasn't like tall. Like, Wonder, I was, Wonder Twin powers activate. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not. I'm like an average height guy, but I have very big feet and I look like a dwarf. Like, <laughs> why do I have this large foot? But I'm not a tall person. 
It's redundant. <laughs> Genetics are weird. Yeah, are they are. Dominant recessive genes. They make me mad. I wish you could just hand pick them. Like, yeah. Hey, I want this stuff from my mom. I want this stuff from my dad. Bada boom. Sounds like a great idea until the government gets involved. Aren't they always involved anyway? Yeah. Aren't they involved in everything? <laughs> we start picking and choosing what traits we want in humans. I don't think we want to go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Mm. Mm. Eradicate this. Yeah. And the government's like, hey, shut up. Some guys in Germany are like, oh, I like that idea. I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Oof, <laughs> We're bad. talking off camera about that. <laughs> my bad. Sorry. I didn't mean to go there. Uh, I just, hey, the uh, Ninja Turtles, they're cool. Yeah. They got a new trailer coming out. Yeah, my I think son. I might take my son to go see that. <laughs> that looks really good. Mm-hmm. The Seth Rogen movie. I'm actually gonna go take him to the Mario movie. It looks good too. Yeah, I'm gonna take him because he loves Mario. He's obsessed with Mario. He's my son's a Mario. At like, how old your son? He's five. He just turned five, and he's addicted to Sonic, Mario, Nintendo. So did he like Sonic? Sonic two, like the movies. Yeah, he loved it. Oh, I actually like those movies too. They're pretty good. Yeah, he loved it. Yeah, it was good. It was good. He like, loved Power Rangers. He loves all that nerdy five year old boy stuff. Yeah, you know, he loves that stuff. But yeah, I know he's gonna freak out at this Mario movie. I know he's gonna lose it, his mind. It looks really good. It does look good. Uh, I'm not. I'm kind of confused with the choice of the voice actor for Mario. Jack Black as Bowser is hilarious, though. In 2023, we not put in Italian voice actors in the work for Italian roles? I'm just thinking, though, if we're going to be serious, if we really think about it, though, how long could we sustain that Italian accent in a two-hour movie before it gets like, I don't want to hear this fucking voice anymore? The, like, it's a me, a Mario. Like, after, like... The real fans would love it. It would be good, but, like, as far as conversation, we've never really had Mario do a conversation like that for, like, 30 minutes. Then he shouldn't talk in the movie. That's the point. <laughs> Keep... Yeah, Mario's not a talking dude. He's about his action. He could play baseball, tennis. He's a plumber. He, he does all this other stuff. He, he competed in the Olympics. In the Olympics. He's an Olympian. <laughs> but you know what he's not? A talker. Because he's too busy training. <laughs> Too busy getting right. He's too busy coming to the switch. Mario, stand up. Exactly. Mario, open mic. You think he won't do it? He'll be amazing at it. Yeah. And he'll start. Let me tell you about Princess Peach's pussy. Oh lord. Oh lord. (laughs) It's a toadstool. Oh man, (laughs) that's funny. (laughs) Stop my head. Uh, (laughs) I'm reaching. Yeah. (laughs) Make it. (laughs) Comedians are funny. They'd be like, "Hey, man." Like whenever they try to make a joke and it's like not a reaction, they'd be like, "Try my best up here." Yeah. Doing my darndest. Yeah. That's what I did one time uh, at one, I think it, at the cell or whatever. I was like, fuck you guys, that's funny. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> you gotta do it for yourself, man. You gotta do it for yourself, too. I mean, yeah, they're not gonna like everything. Yeah. Like, nobody is 100% with the jokes. I've yeah. never seen one person, every single joke they said was amazing. Yeah. And then you also can't play to one person in the crowd the, your entire set. Because, like, if you, if you, to me, I, I, I'm still a rookie as fuck. I'm just saying, as far as what I try to do, I'm just saying, like, where was I going with that? I'm a little high. I don't know either. <laughs> I'm confused. That's the problem. We smoked a little bit before this. Yeah. I'm like, where are you going? I want to uh, know what you're that's, asking. That's part of the thing of, like, how I have this is, like, we smoke beforehand and it's like Wonderland. Yeah. yeah it's like a. Didn't want to smoke too much. I thought they about to attack me. Or something. <laughs> it's not know. gremlins. They about to have a war. Is they about to fight? Small soldiers. That's a great movie. Small soldiers. Yeah. You ever watched it? What is it? I it's never... a. It's like nineteen ninety five or nineteen ninety six. It's a live action movie. Uh huh. It's kind of like Toy Story, but like it's set in live action. Like if the toys were like were real. were real, like they were having like a warring like like an actual war. Oh, I'll look it up. It's called Small Soldiers. Small uh, soldiers. Kirsten Dunst is in it. Tommy Lee Jones is one of the voices. Really. Um, it still holds up. The toys are worth a lot of money because they're really good toys. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a really good movie. I'll check it out. And I think your son will probably like it too. It's all about action figures and stuff like that. Yeah, and, I'll be, oh yeah, he loves. Yeah, I put them on. Yeah, yeah for sure. I'll it's a it it's out. a really good movie, and the, the CGI and everything still holds up because it's all like they try to use practical toys, like soldiers versus aliens, is like the kind of the thing. And they're just rival toys having this war, and all the humans are like, "What the hell's going on?" And explosions are happening and stuff oh, like that. Oh, that sounds dope. Yeah, it's, it's what's pretty, the what's the rating? It's like G or PG. Oh, perfect, perfect. Yeah, it's a 1995 kids movie. Ah, so yeah, they're not. Nobody was getting too crazy. In no, 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 no. It did its own yeah. toy line, and everything was super successful. It just they never did anything else with it. Good. 
See, that's what I like people to know when to call it quits. Like, uh, let's see, like the toys. I sure love a series that wraps it up. Just hey, this is the ending, and we'll never do it again. But there you go. So it was a 1998 movie. 1998, uh, good year. David Cross, Phil Hartman's in it. Oh, that was one of his last movies. Yeah. That's oh. What it looks like. Okay, I seen that. I remember in the stores, I would see it on the shelves. Yeah, that's the bad guys. You think they're the good guys? Those are the bad guys. And that's Tommy Lee Jones. Okay. And then the aliens are the good guys. Like that. Okay. But yeah, that's what they look like in the actual show. And then that's the toys that the humans are interacting with and stuff. This episode of Unloading Meat is not brought to you by someone like Ridge Wallet. Ridge Wallet. Man, I really wish I had a new wallet, Stefano. Mine's falling apart over here. It's like held together by dreams and duct tape. And it's it's pretty empty as it is. Um, man, if I had a company like Ridge sponsoring this show, guys, you wouldn't have to hear these horrible, horrible fake ads. So if you want to make that happen, reach out to your company, favorite company like Ridge and uh, tell them to sponsor the show, Unloading Meat. Anyway, back to the show. So are you afraid? Are you as afraid of... AI as I am. Not so much. <sighs> I'm definitely frightened. Uh, I mean, I was until, like, I watched the uh, last week tonight with John Oliver, mm-hmm. and he did a entire piece on it, like, two weeks ago about AI, about, like, th- everything about it, and he goes into detail. You know, it's, it's a humorous slant on it, too. Of course. But uh, just kind of showing you how far we are from that even being a possibility of it. It's basically, it's we're yes, we have a smart AI system, but it's dumb. It's only what we oh, input into so it. Oh, it's so stupid. It's oh. only what we input it into yes. it. Yes. So yes. until the day that it can actually... Make its own decision. Yeah, that... Wait. Yeah, I will say, it's like... It's like a... What's the word? Yeah, it's like those people... I know, it's, you ever see those people that are like, have no common sense? Yeah. But if you give them a task, they just expertly finish it yeah if you give them the task and then like here's one like if you give them a uh instruction booklet of how to do it or something like that they're just good yeah it's like people some people aren't good at like free think not free thinking let me not insult some people some people just tunnel vision i can get it done however i don't know what to do yeah but some people you know some people are 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 just really made and excel at being like assembly, assembly line workers or something like that because yeah. there needs to be people that are good for that yeah we need plumbers out yeah here. yeah yeah don't there's nothing wrong with that yeah some of you some of you open <laughs> micers that are just doo doo <laughs> you don't have to do comedy plumbing's still an option <laughs> you can be this no, I'm joking I'm kidding you can install a new mirror at the cellar <laughs> hey Ooh. hey Hey, I've seen that toilet get stopped up a couple times. You can still be on the scene. We just need you to fix the toilet. <laughs> Shout out to the cellar. Shout I love that the... place. Matter of fact, that's what I'm going to start doing. After somebody bombs, I'm like, hey, man, you got to help clean up after. Just go buy a plunger at Walmart and carry it with you. Yeah, I'm like, hey, man, you got to clean the toilet, man. You got to, you got to. Dude, that's what you should do. Instead of like, remember like the old days where they had like the uh, the cane and they would drag them off the stage? Just get a plunger and just hey, be like, hey. Hey, go go get that toilet. Yeah. Go get that fucking toilet. Yeah. Because your set sucked. That would get, that make people so much better at comedy. Your set was shit. Yeah, your set was shit. <laughs> get it. That that would make people so much better at comedy. Yeah. People get so much better. They're like, oh, not only do I not want to get booed, I don't want to plunge a toilet. Yeah. I'll be writing the shit out of my jokes. How long have you been in comedy, man? A uh, year and a half. Okay. year and a half. year and a half. Just What got you into it? Like, what, what was the thing that, that pushed you over the edge to like try it? Uh, I'm always fascinated by that. It was funny. Uh, so I was with my friends, and we were walking downtown. We stumbled into you know, like a little bar, and then I had an open mic. And my friends were like, bro, you should do it. You're funny as hell. And I was like, all right, bro. And uh, went on stage, told some jokes. People was laughing. And after the show, people were like, are you a comedian? And I was like, no. And they were like, bro, you should do it. And I was like, all right. I mean, because you know how everybody's always like, my friends think I'm funny. So yeah. I'll try comedy. So, you know, I was kind of on that wave. And then I did another open mic. This was I was super. I invited like all my friends. Y'all come see me. My stand-up debut. This is the, the birth of a star today. <laughs> I got dressed. I put a sweater on and shit, oh. and then I went up there. I did not a Cosby okay. sweater. No, nothing. No, oh. no, no relation to him. Okay. Nah, it was more like a. 
<sighs> what kind of sweater was it? It was a nice, like a Luther Vandross. Sweater. Okay, okay. See, that's a respectable person. See, I look like I eat like Luther Vandross. Ooh. Did you ever hear the the Vandross burger? There's a Vandross burger? Yeah. It was, it was allegedly the thing that he loved to eat. It was a Sounds double delicious. cheeseburger, but instead of the buns, he would put Krispy Kreme donuts. That was the Vandross burger. No. Yeah, it was it's a, it's an urban legend kind of thing about Luther Vandross. That sounds so unhealthy, but it definitely sounds possible. It sounds like oh, it sounds I've seen people eat that at the fair. I always wanted to try it, like a donut burger. There it is. There it is. Oh, it looks terrible. Like as soon as I typed it in, it was like Vandross burger. Oh, no, never mind. Ew, I never Ugh, cheese touching a donut. See, that See, looks There it is. That looks better. When it's like Melted together. That looks. It's, oh. The Luther Burger. The Luther Burger. Yeah. Luther was eating that. Yeah. That was apparently, that was like one of his uh, things he loved. Luther. And it had to be Krispy Kremes. Luther. May you rest in peace. You was eating this. <laughs> yeah. Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I gotta try it for the one time so, one day. So, uh, you talk about like what was your epiphany moment to lose weight, and it was that lady talking about your ass. If I ever get a burger named after me that has these kind of ingredients, that's going to be my epiphany yeah. moment. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, my God. They're naming monstrosities yeah. after, in my name. Yeah. Oh, donut burger. I want to try it, but it's just it's so nasty. It's like uh, they have – have you seen that KFC brought back the double down? What's the double down? The double down is kind of like this. It's uh, it's bacon and cheese sandwich, and chicken sandwich. But instead of buns, it's just two fried chicken patties. So it's fried chicken filet, bacon and cheese, fried chicken filet. They're trying to kill us. It's, they're, yeah. they're trying to look at the signs, people. KFC wants you dead. Yeah, that's the, they want, if you eat that's the that, double down right there. Oh, if you eat that, you're think about your kids before you eat that. The fucked up part right now, that's the only way you can get into the beta for Diablo 4. Is you have to buy a KFC combo. See what they're trying to do? <laughs> so they're literally like, if you want a game, you have to go get the... And it's like about the double down. They brought it back just for this. What's going on? It's like they're really trying to turn us into the Wally people. I just want to play the game. I don't want to die from hypertension from... <laughs> Come. I don't want to eat this fucking chicken fucking gangbang. I want to fucking play the game. What is this? Yeah, it's crazy, right? It's chicken instead of the buns. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's literally it. Uh, it's Bacon greasy as shit. They never. wrap it, and it's like greasy as shit. And it's like the, the first time I had it, like I tried, like it's one of those things where like five or six years ago they brought this out, and everybody's like, "Oh, I gotta try it." You're just stupid enough, I gotta try it. I tried it. It is dry as fuck. Like it's just so dry. Of course it is. Um, it is fried it just, hard. It, it just wasn't worth it. And, of course uh, it's not. For the fact that they brought it back, it was just, just like, why? These it's, corporations suck nowadays. I know. They're, they're losing a... When you're already rich, you lose that hunger, so to speak. Yeah. And Irony. you just <laughs> don't come up with good ideas anymore. You got to stay hungry. You got to want to... You lose touch with what the people want. And like the... Exactly. Because what? A chicken wrap chicken with bacon? It's basically now we're living in meme culture of what can make a headline yeah. that sounds shocking that'll get people in the door to try at least Which, once. What'll get trending? Like, make yeah, some... Yeah, everything's trending. Has to be trending. You're the right. The person that thought of this, would you eat this? Who no. runs these fast food places? Who's the head chef? They're test kitchens, and then it's like, how much can they chemical can they put in there to mass produce it as cheap as possible? See. You know what I mean? Like, like honestly, I bet you. I bet you. Because, like, if you watch things like Super Size Me and Super Size Me 2. I, I watch Super Size Me. Yeah. Like, if you watch that and see their test kitchens, like, you'll see, like, professional chefs and, like, the, you know, the, the, I am sure KFC has a professional chef in their yeah. test kitchen in Kentucky or where the why fuck did, it is. Why did you let that happen? I, I bet that one that they, he originally made is, like, a five-star really good one. Well, I need to taste his. That's what I'm saying. But like, by the time it gets down to manufacturing those fillets oh, yeah. and getting them to where they're processed and all that shit, it's just and all yeah, the enzymes that keep it like, shelf stable for months. Yeah, it's it's just not going to taste the same. Yeah, that chicken's not even a chicken anymore. Nah, don't you hate to see that? Yeah, that's waste of a good chicken. That's this is why we have the the shortage of how. Why do we have a wing shortage, but not the other parts of the bird? 
Dude, I was wondering the same fucking thing. Like, my whenever like, Bell said that the other well, like, day. Well, like, was it uh, when wasn't Rick Ross was like doing the thigh meals and stuff like like after that we had the wing shortage? I like, was talking. I was talking to Larry Tibbs and Bell, and they said they were talking about that. They were like, "Yeah, how did we have a wing shortage, but no legs? I mean, but we got legs." And I was like, "Yeah, because it's two wings. Yeah, and it's two legs. How is it a wing shortage though? Yeah, what?" And then there was also the thing, like, like, when, like I said, like, like the wing stops and stuff like that went to like thighs for a while. Like they started yeah, doing remember, thigh moves. I remember that. Like you can get all your sa- favorite things just with thighs. And I'm like, why wasn't that an option before? Like, I mean, we, um, I don't know. Like this is weird. Honest. How we're sh- you think we're eating chicken for real? At some places. Some places. Yeah, some <laughs> depends places. on if they paid the chicken gods or not. You think that make chicken is chicken? No, no, Hell no, fuck no, it's not chicken. What, what, what bird do you think it really is? I think it's pigeon. Bird. It's not. It's not chicken. <laughs> I don't know if it's bird. <laughs> Might be crow. Yeah, I think we. I, 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 I can't eat McDonald's personally. Like I, I, I don't I, eat it either. Well, I'm lying. I'm. A, if I'm toasted, if I'm, I'm filet of fish. I'll grab. Ugh, I don't like filet of fish. Really? Well, no. Yeah, I don't. I so like I had my gallbladder out like 12 years ago. So like I might have like an express lane. So like uh, McDonald's fucks me up hardcore. Like pepperoni on a pepperoni pizza fucks me up. I get sick. So there's certain things I just can't eat, and just something about McDonald's food, even the French fries, and there's something in that, like the chemicals or what. Or or you it just makes me sick. Like their ice cream, fries, anything. Oh. I just get sick. So I just stopped eating McDonald's. You're and just allergic to McDonald's. I don't man. know what it I is. I think you're just. Hey, it's not a bad pl- McDonald's. Is <laughs> I, I'm okay with it. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's not like you're not missing out on something. It'd be different, man. I can't uh, drink milk. I'm like, oh man, so lactose intolerant. Yeah. I love cheese, ice cream. McDonald's, fuck McDonald's. Yeah, man. actually, I'm not saying eradicate that part. I might need <laughs> let's let's. I might need a sponsorship one day. <laughs> Who says? Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. I'm selling out. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, thank you. Hopefully, I don't get copyright struck for that. I'm gonna that tell you jingle. right now. Certain some of my values can definitely be bought. I'm not even gonna lie to you. You put a you give me a couple mil, but like, hey man, so, uh, I, some values are contradictory. Not a lot. Some of them I'm keeping true to, but some stuff I'm like, uh, ten million dollar contract. <laughs> mm. How important are those values? Depends which ones. Depends on which the ones. The core ones, you know, the ones your mom and dad gave you, keep those. Yeah. That's about it. Anything yeah. else can go. Anything else can go. If you love your mom and dad. Some people hate their parents. So at that point, do what you want to do. <laughs> I that, honestly that's values. Make yeah. your own values. Create. Literally, sit down one day, toss. T- get rid of all your old values. Mom and dads, get rid of them. Sit down, create your own. Just make your own. Start your own. Become a sociopath. You only have one life to live. I'm high. I'm good. I am high. Make your own values. Make your own. Uh, to do list of just who you want to be, and then become it. That sounds like one of those TikTok influencers. <laughs> I hate those motherfuckers. Dude. <laughs> I don't. I hope y'all know that what I just said was totally BS. No, I hate those people. I literally get up at six a.m. every day. All you need to do is ask everybody you know for one dollar. No wait, it was like ask. Ten of your friends put together hundred dollars, get an LLC, <laughs> sell, uh, <laughs> buy a thousand cards, sell each card for thirty bucks. That's thirty thousand dollars. You can buy a private office. Start money laundering. Like, shut up, shut it's up. It's like they, they listened to that ro- the Rock's version of that Tech Nine song once, and they just ran with it. Yeah, it's, it's about like, drive. It's, it's about, about power. It's about, <laughs> it's about wanting it and doing it. I drive a $100 million car. Fucking Andrew Tate. I have three wives. They're all Scandinavian. Andrew Andrew Tate's shit about his wife in the two cups of coffee. Did you ever hear about that? I've tried to watch as least amount of Andrew Tate That motherfucker was a YMH talking about how like he made his wife get him two cups of coffee a day, even though he only wanted one, just to make sure that she knew. Like Basically, like it's like the principle like respect kind of thing. <laughs> Like, I'm never going to drink that second one, but she should know that I want the two cups. It's what I asked for. She's going to do it for me. I want to find that woman's parents. But y'all fucked up. 
Yeah, uh, he's still in prison. I mean, he's good. Still, <laughs> he's not getting out. Good. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. That don't hurt my feelings. Bye. Bye. I have a great time. It's more. Bye. Hey. Have a great time. Bye. Have a great time. <laughs> Free Young Thug. Keep uh, Andrew Tate in prison forever. Wrong. I hate. I hate. I just. I don't hate him. I don't even know much about him. I hate who he's influenced. Yeah. He's influenced. He's done. A, Irreversible hate, damage to our youth. I hate that the influencers that are like tongue in cheek and know you know that they're doing a character like him are getting away with it to the point where people don't know it's a character. He and has it's like, done irreversible damage yes. to our youth. <laughs> like when I saw, like, I only knew him from uh, your mom's house, like Tom Segura and stuff, like mm-hmm. podcast. They would have him on a couple times, but they knew it was a character and it's a bit. And they're like basically like. Entertaining it. They're like, entertaining it like it's like he's just going off and they're just like, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> and they're, it's, it's, it's all for entertainment. It. I would do the same. Thing. No, <laughs> I definitely love it. But they knew it was a bit. It's all enabling yeah. people to do dumb stuff so I can further laugh at it. It's kind of like when you watch Oliver Tree do shit, like he just goes nuts and stuff like that. It's all, you know, it's a character. Or like Eric Andre. Well, Eric Andre yeah. is also a comedian. Like yeah. he's doing it comedically. Some people are. He's come I back think, for season six. I don't think Andrew Tate. Is a character. I mean, I think he. I think that's who he is. I think it's both. It's an exa- It's kind of like pro wrestler where it's like an exaggeration. And it just became them. It became them, and like they kind of just because like you can like I don't like I would give it a, a shout out to like the, your mom's house episodes. That he's on there because uh, you do see it's a full on character. Yeah, like it's full on. It's a bit because it's like an hour long podcast that he's just doing this character. So like when you see it like that, then you start to see the cracks in it. You know what I mean? A little bit. Oh, Whereas he's like it, tired. And she's like, man, I can't be my fake self too much longer. Well, it's just, you just know it's an exaggeration. It's more like yeah. you watch a pro wrestler do an interview. You know they're turned on. Like the camera's on. They're they're up to 11. And it's and you get that from yeah. him uh, when you Cutting watch him long form. Yeah. Okay. It's a promo. It's yeah. literally a promo. I've only, I've, I've never watched, like I never watched him. I've only seen clips like where people didn't make fun of him or yeah. something. But I've never, and I've heard like, yeah, he's in prison for like some stuff. And well, the more you like. I, I joke all the time that the real world is just pro wrestling. Like, it's like the more you get into pro wrestling and you see people doing promos and how, like, the world works, it's like everybody's just doing a, their version of a wrestling heel promo. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like it's all a character if you start looking That's at it. That's like, what gets me out the bed in the morning. I have to be better than people I hate, and I hate a lot of people. So, I'm like, oh, well, let me be better than those people. I don't hate, you know, I don't hate a lot of people. But I hate a few people. It's a figure. We yeah. all hate a few people. Yeah. Everybody, don't don't, don't try to be on Mr. Perfect. This is perfect. <laughs> hate is such a strong emotion. I don't hate these people, but I hate some people. We all got enemies. Oh, God, yes. We all yeah. got nemesis. Yeah. Whether it's your coworker, that girl in sixth grade that called you fat. Uh, yeah, bitch. Your neighbor that bangs because you sometimes play your music a little loud. We all got nemesis. We all have some. I will listen to Tiny Tim at 2 a.m. any well way I want to. Okay, neighbor? Precisely. Precisely. No, I'm not going to lie. Tiptoe through the tulips. Uh, no, I'd, I'd probably have to knock on your door. Yeah. And be like, hey. um, Sometimes I uh, I have a Google Home in like most of my rooms. Mm-hmm. I'll like do that tiptoe through the tulips song as somebody's taking a piss or taking a shit. Oh, I'll man. just do that, and then it just scares the fuck out of them. Yeah, that scared me. <laughs> that scared me. I do. That's why I don't like AI either, man. <laughs> Never mind. I'm more scared of AI now. <laughs> Playing music. Sometimes, I think technology is growing too fast. I think we need to slow. Like, hey, I think we're good where we are. Yeah. If technology peaked right here, we'd be perfectly fine. We're good. Yeah. We're good right now. Now, medicine-wise, keep working. But technology, we don't have to go any well, everything's farther. An, everything's an algorithm now. Exactly, and, and like, it's gross. It's, I don't, it is gross. I don't want stuff engineered for me. I just want to see what I want. But I understand. Like, I want to see what I want to see. Give yeah. me some suggestions, yes. But now, like, all the suggestions are, you know, made for me instead of just on the video. Like, give me suggestions based off that video, not the algorithm. Because now, ugh. And it also takes my entire day away because yeah. everything's made for me. I can watch it, anything. It's it's kind of scary how fast it is sometimes, too. Yeah. Like, I'll you search for one thing, and all of a sudden it's on all your Instagram and everything. Yeah, the other day I freaking Googled up 
uh, what did I Google up? And then I like got on Instagram, and it was an ad for it. Yeah. And I was like, this has gone on long enough. This has gone on long enough. <laughs> I can't even. And then I hate on Instagram, freaking the Explore page snitches on me all the time. I don't even follow this many thick women. But then when you go on my freaking Instagram, people, hey, follow, can I follow you on Instagram, man? I love your comedy. I'm like, sure, man. I pull out my Instagram, there's nothing people's butts. And I'm yeah. like, I don't even follow that many. Yeah, it's just it's, everybody that follows you, it kind of gets in the, in the algorithm. Kind yeah, because yeah. it's based off of the people I follow, and all of my friends are following these big bootied women. So now it pops up on my stuff. See, the company you keep, algorithms are teaching us a lesson. <laughs> That's what's scary about, like, they talk about, like, you know, the government wanting to block TikTok in the U.S. and stuff like that because of, of how dangerous it could possibly be. And then it's like you talk like sometimes I agree with the government. I, I agree. It can sometimes. be it can be pretty creepy how much that how dangerous some of that information can get it in there. But like I think they should definitely ban this whole <laughs> selling our information stuff. Agreed. Yeah, it's weird that they, hey, is it okay if we sell your information to people? I'm like, no. Well, it's like we had a technology boom from the 80s on, and we never had regulations and laws keep up with the, the advances in, in, in technology. Like we have regulations still to this day that are about like fucking dial up internet and shit and there's things that they they don't even weren't even invented on the internet like tiktok and stuff like that that yeah it takes time for all that shit red tape to get cut and you know go through and get all those things going yeah we definitely yeah i mean and in the meantime amazon boomed to the number one thing in the world and you know all these companies are just booming and without regulation for a while because we never caught up with it (laughs) man it's tough living through history isn't it yeah, t- we're, we're either going to be the, the fat people from Wally, or we're going to be that, that civilization from Idiocracy. What a good movie. Yeah. I don't want to be that, though. I really, I, I want to keep free will, you know? I want to keep independency. Agreed. I, I like independence. It'd be nice. Yeah. I, I would just settle for um marginal peace. Without all the hostility in the world that's right right now, because it seems like any any day it's gonna pop off. <laughs> There's like you can cut tension in the knife some days. I think about it. Hasn't it always been like that though? Like, I think with uh, when has when has not even just America, but when has the world as a whole been at peace? I think it's more like with the the rise of social media and how closed, how small it makes the world, and how yes. loud you can make small voices. Yeah, I, that it it amplifies so much shit that was already there that we're seeing that honestly that's probably uh, that's kind of how I feel. I know that's facts. Like you're right. It definitely like you know what's out there in the world now. You didn't know people like literally. I go to like, hey, I'm in Korea and this is dude. I'm like, whoa, they do well. I went to Korea before, but like you see, you just see like. People, you see stuff that you would not normally see. Yeah. In which it opens your eyes. But at the same time, I guess, like, some stuff, I'm, just like, I'm good with the stuff I'm looking at sometimes. Yeah. I like to learn about other people's <laughs> stuff. But sometimes I'm like, whoa, man, let me let me catch up. Yeah. Let me catch up. And I, honestly, I think what you just said right there, let me catch up. I think we need to have more of that being vocally said. Yeah. As far as... I'm not saying I'm against them just because I don't understand it. Let me catch up. Yeah. Um, I think that would be very fair. And I honestly think that anybody that comes from a, a place that has been marginalized or anything like that that's trying to get their voices heard, mm-hmm. I think there needs to be some there's needs to be some places where we can get that that conversation I feel, started. I feel that. But then some people are like, huh. Some people are tired of that. Yeah. Some people are like, I'm tired of having to no, I'm kidding. I don't know. Well, and again, it's like at the end of the day, the world's not black and white. The world is a just there's no right, right or wrong answer on it's every a lot little of gray. thing. There's yeah. a lot of gray. It's a lot there's, of gray. Some there, grays are lighter than other grays. Yeah, yeah I definitely understand what you And I mean, that's the, the, the fucked up thing about our economy and our world and everything like that. We just gotta try to push on, I guess. Yeah, you just <laughs> and gotta, make jokes. I'm <laughs> that's got you. really serious on unloading me for a while. <laughs> Let me tell you something. There is no point of complaining. Let me get it off. won't make anything. Let better. us get off our soapbox. I'm right. back on my Andrew Tate shit. Stop complaining. Deal with get it. Get my coffee, bitch. Deal. Give me two coffees, sugar and both. I'm not drinking none of that shit. I like tea. Get that too, because I'm a real 
Uh, what do you say? Uh, something man? High value man. Yeah, high value. I don't know. Mm. Fuck that dude. I'm a high value I mean, man. somebody is probably fucking that dude in prison. Oh. Ew. Prison rape. Yeah, prison rape. Oh, man, that's what keeps me off the streets, man. <laughs> I'll never do crime. I don't even steal from self-checkout. I do my taxes on time. I'm not getting, not going to prison. Yeah, I don't want to go to prison. Cause this uh, is, doesn't yeah. sound like a good time for me. I don't want even. I don't even speed. That's what took me so long, man. <laughs> I don't jaywalk. I don't even pirate movies, man. I go on Redbox. I go to Red. I will find that movie physically. I don't pirate movies. You see me, government. <laughs> I follow the laws. Law abiding citizen. I bought that at Redbox too because I don't pirate movies. Oh, not a movie pirate. I want to wear a break for a second. This episode of Unloading Meat is not brought up to you by your favorite VPN providers such as Express or Nord or any other VPN product that is constantly bombarding you with ads on every podcast, YouTube clip, everything that you ever watch. Hell, I am half exp- honestly. VPNs, you guys should just be advertising on every Pornhub site and any kind of adult site. Because, guys, if you're ever trying to, you know, wank one off real quick and you need to be sure, sure that your favorite cable provider is not browsing on it, hop on a VPN. And, guys, if you're tired of these fake weird ads, reach out to those VPNs and tell them to sponsor on Loading Meat. Now, back to the show. Every show has a game now. And it's like, but it's all a cash grab. Yeah, games suck nowadays. Game, you got a uh, you a well, are you a gamer? Oh yeah, very much. What's uh, what's what's, what's your platform? PS Five right now is what I've been playing mostly on. Uh, we have on it. Uh, right now the biggest things I'm playing are The Last of Us Part One. I'm playing it with a show, and then Hogwarts Legacy. I'm playing, uh, digging that, and then what's the other game I'm playing now? I bought the new Need for Speed. Okay. Uh, a couple games came on sale this uh, last couple days, and I've been trying to play those. Okay. You never played uh, Elden Ring? No, I never played Elden Ring. I want it. That's the only reason I want a PS5. Really? That and uh, what else is coming out? That new Tekken looks crazy. So See, I'm, I'm an MK guy. I'm a Mortal Kombat guy. Uh, I'm not good at Mortal Kombat. So I, I, so I had the PS3 over here. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, it's right there. And I'm playing like the retro games over here. I just got MK9. I'm going to start playing that, and then 10 and 11, going through them again because 12 is coming out this year, apparently. Really? Yeah. They just made uh, the, they making these games too fat. Well, I guess no. They're MK11 making came out like three years ago. That's the one. What? Because it, it was on PS4, then it went to PS5 just recently. Oh, really? Yeah, it was on. It started on PS4. Oh, that's not. Yeah, I need. The, I have a bad perception of time. <laughs> no, it just came out. It was like years ago, dude. And I was like. Really? Well, that, and to be fair, that one was supported for a long time with DLC and expansion. So, like, that's, yeah, that's probably because it's like I, that's what I count. Because like, if you're still making DLC for it, then yeah, because they had like Rambo and all that stuff coming out for it, like last Robo-Cop year, and Robocop. Stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was Robocop Rambo. I was like, this is ambitious. Yeah, uh, Spawn was in a Joker. Spawn. Yeah, I was like. I remember Injustice had the Ninja Turtle. I was like, y'all. They were fun. I, I love Injustice too. Kids are lucky nowadays. Because I remember as when we were kids, we were like, what if this fought this guy? Yeah. Now kids get to do it. This isn't fair. We didn't get, well, I guess now we can too. You just got to live your inner child. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to be happy, man. You can't like put the label on it of like what makes you, like what's That's true. You know, if it makes you happy, what what age limit doesn't matter? Yeah. As long as it's consensual. I mean, yeah. we're going to go back to that. Well, <laughs> certain things do yeah. have age limits. Yeah, that's true. Certain things have strict age limits. Very strict age limits. I need to zoom <sighs> in on Can I have a zoom in on me? Strict age limits. Strict. Follow the rules. Please do. Please. I beg of you. It's there for a reason. If 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 the age th- is there for a reason. If but, something I noticed that in life, man. Rules are in the place certain times yeah. for a reason. Certain yeah. rules like speed limits make sense. Speed limits make sense. Yeah. The when study like, hey, this much water intake, you should drink this much water a day. People are like, shut up. No, I don't need to. You should probably drink that much water a day. Probably. <laughs> I listen to scientists. If you got a if you got a degree, in a certain field, or yeah. if you are a scientist, 
not a Facebook scientist, not a an Facebook, actual scientist. An actual, I'm going to listen to, I listen yeah. to doctors. I listen to doctors intensely. I remember for years, you know, you just listen to your grandma, your mom, you just do that, put that on. I'm like, no, I'm going to listen to a medical professional. Just drink this tea with some honey and, you know, yeah. fix your COVID-19. No. No. I mean, no, <laughs> listen to your mom. Listen to your grandma. <laughs> If it worked before, listen to your mom. We're going to get brought up for misinformation on YouTube or something. <laughs> yeah. Listen. Listen to your mom, but listen to medical professionals more. Those, I trust, I trust them more than anybody else. People are like, I don't listen to doctors. I listen to Joe Rogan. I'm like, what? <laughs> what does he do? He just interviews MMA fighters after fights. And um, some doctors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. I will say he does take all kinds, but it's like if you're getting information from a podcast solely, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, <laughs> like That's the problem, too, <laughs> man. People don't go to the news for news. But the news ain't even giving the news. No. The news is giving their news. Yeah, that's why, news. that's why I like going through Snopes. Uh, Snopes is a great website just to kind of debunk a lot of shit. I don't know if you ever use it or not, but it's a great website. Uh, as far as just like if it just fact check fact checks everything. I just go to the grapevine. I just listen to people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I just listen to people's biased opinions. I'm like, okay, that's that's factual, <laughs> and then that uh, alters my worldview. <laughs> so, uh, you been watching anything lately? As far as like TV, movies, or anything that like you've been on? I just finished. Uh, well, The Last of Us. I watched The Last of Us. Uh. I finished House of Dragons. I haven't started it yet. I, I I got HBO for Last of Us, and I think I'm going to start on that next. Yeah, man. Is it worth it? Because like I was bummed out by the uh, last season of Game of Thrones. Uh, no, House of Dragons is... It's good? It's, it's a good comeback. You know, that last season of Game of Thrones was doo-doo, but then yeah. House of Dragons was like, we got to redeem ourselves, guys. Okay, then I'm going to give it a shot, because that's what I was wondering. I was wondering... It was I, good. It was good. Uh, I'm watching. I w- I'm rewatching Atlanta. Oh, I love Atlanta. Atlanta. Um, what else? What movies have I watched recently? I watched Training Day the other day again. That's some, a great movie. It was a great movie. That's I a- like Training Day because I like seeing crooked black cops. Uh, if I gotta see crooked cops, I go want them to be black at least. <laughs> and so Denzel was just crooked as fuck. I love this. Love seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. Be be, be terrible. You see that uh, captain in Oklahoma City got a DUI? No. Yeah, it's like this captain of the police department in Oklahoma City got a DUI. Yeah, this is me spreading it. Uh, And during the arrest, he tried to tell the arresting officer, hey, turn off your body cam. And he was oh, like, shit. And he was like, why would I do that? Then he was like, I'm the captain. He's like, well, why are you drunk? He's like, I was at the poker game. Yeah. He was so drunk. I think he thought he was telling orders. Like, hey, turn the body cam off. Oh my god. Get the get the coke out the trunk. Put it in his back seat. Sir, you're driving a vehicle. What? Take a holy walk. shit. Yeah, fuck that guy. He'll get a job as you know. He's on paid leave right now. He's on paid fucking leave. He can become a, a security guard at Ovaldi. He's gonna just retire. Oh, that's his ugly. <laughs> He's a 32-year veteran. They're just going to, hey, man. Yeah, I'll get his pension. You messed up, but... Uh, Slap on the wrist. Hey, hey. Just, you, that just, knucklehead. Just lay low. For that knucklehead. Bit. Yeah, you silly goose. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pigs. <sighs> I got to ask you, man. With all the, I got to hear your top five. Who's your top five Marvel? Who's your top five DC? Okay, top you? five Marvel. Deadpool is one of my top. Of course. Uh, uh, Nightcrawler. I'm a huge Nightcrawler fan. Ooh, okay. Uh, Venom. Venom. I'm a, I'm a, I like Venom. Um, that's what three? Yeah, you got two more. Two Spidey. Guys. Spidey. I gotta have me Spidey in there because I, I I grew up on Spidey. Spider Man. Um. Hey, just looking at his. Our fifth collection. one. For a fifth one, man, what do I do? Um, yeah, man, look at this broad collection. Of, which one is? Yeah, just look at just thousands. Just be like, hey, which one? Got Thor there. Vision. 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 
Yeah. Okay. I always liked Vision growing up. Okay. Uh, DC mostly because like, uh, you know who Martian Manhunter is? Yeah. Yeah. Like Vision and him are very like the kind of like the Marvel Pretty DC kind of similar. similar. Yeah. Uh, I like those dudes like can like turn and phase through and stuff like that. And I always liked that guy. Oh, uh, so you like the, the people that can just... And you just like that power? That was cool. I, I'm a big teleporter guy. So like t- Nightcrawler uh, was always a big thing. Deadpool could teleport in the comics. Uh, I always loved the teleportation power. That was my biggest thing. That is that is very. I feel like I don't really care about powers. I care about your like. It's like Superman's boring to me. Can I be honest? I agree with you. I don't like Superman at all. I think he's just too powerful. Yeah, he's too. It's just like, he, and then his his weakness is like. It's not a theme, like, so superhero week is supposed to be, like, themey, like, irony, or kind of like, super's like, random green rock from a planet that blew up millions. How did all this kryptonite get to a place as millions of light years? What this makes? Why does everybody have some? Yeah. This doesn't make any sense. Well, they didn't eradicate it. Why don't you fix his weakness? Do something. I think, honestly, the only time I'm going to be excited about Superman is, like, the next Superman movie is being made and written by James Gunn. Mm-hmm. Like it's gonna be his pet project now that he he's over DC everything like that's his pet project it's the new Superman it's not going to be an origin story it's just gonna be a young Superman story okay. and I'm like that kind of sounds kind of cool to me as far as a reinvention of Superman a little bit because we've never really seen that as far as it's kind of like the Spider Man movies almost where like until Tom Holland everything had to be an origin story and I'm sick of seeing Uncle Ben die yeah it's, <laughs> it's a, like <laughs> it's like yeah, come Uncle on Ben again <laughs> Uncle Ben every time. It's a new spider man that Uncle Ben's like. Or it's like the Batman. Every time we got a his Batman parents movie. gets murdered. Par- <laughs> every fucking movie. It's like, hey, Mr. Wayne. is like, uh-oh. You know what's about to happen to you. It's like even the Justice League movie had the Batman get, uh, had, uh, had <laughs> his it, parents get killed hey, again. Real quick. <laughs> hey, all right. Now we can set the tone. It just gets movie. old. You know what I mean? Like, you don't need to see that same shit ever. It's, 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 we know what about, Batman. What about new? You got to understand. We got to. Tell the new fan. It's not everybody is as experienced as it's some kids, you know, or some people who's first time I, watching that. I will agree with that. I just think that when there's, it, we live in a day now where like I can't have, expect them to go all the way back to the first uh, Spider Man comic that was made in like sixty. Well, what 70. I'm getting at, what I'm getting at is like we live in an age now where like I have two kids. I have a twelve year old, six year old daughter. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I want to watch the latest Spider-Man movie. There's also like the Spider-Man animated series on Disney Plus. There's Spider-Man and his amazing friends on and, and Spidey and his amazing friends for the kids. There's like there's like ten different versions of Spider-Man that kids can experience before they even get to that movie. True. And just what I'm getting at is like the lexicon of like pop culture is like you think Spider-Man, you know, Spider-Man red, blue, he shoots webs. Yeah. And you might know that his uncle Ben died. Well, maybe, maybe or something. <laughs> if you knew, if you knew above the age of like ten, maybe. Yeah. But also, that's true. That is very true. But also, kids. So when that first Spider Man, our age, yeah. came out, it was fitting for that time. Yeah. Now, kids, now, they don't want to watch that shit. They want to watch a new one. Yeah. Because if, if, I'm, if I'm five, six, seven, eight years old today, the first, and like, you know, the first. A kid today whose first game system I've ever seen is a PS5. Yeah. Versus my first. Game system I ever saw was a Sega Genesis. Like the, it's a big, you know, that's a big difference. Yeah. I would not want to watch 1980 Spider Man. Yeah. Hell no! Nah. Give me this realistic, cool, new Spider Man. Yeah. Well, can. I think it just it comes down to like two of like there needs to be a separation. Like there needs to be some time between them too. Yeah, definitely. I definitely think they be making Spider-Man movies way too. Like, yeah, they changed this. Like, we got a new dude. Now we got a new dude. And like Batman's the same way. I thought that was the smartest thing that they did with the Tom Holland ones. They didn't do the origin. They let him go like right, like a one year in or whatever, just because we just had Toby Guaguire, three movies, Andrew Garfield, two movies, like two years between those. That didn't really do that good. And then, like, two years later, they, they rebooted them again of the MCU. I thought they were good. Really? I thought they were very good. I didn't like the Andrew Garfield ones. I liked parts I of them. They were I liked parts. I loved part two of the way Gwen's death happened and all that stuff. I thought I was really, really well done. I don't know. I just thought he looked too much like a supermodel for Peter Parker. Can I be honest? What? I don't really hate movies a lot. Like, unless they're 
bad. Yeah. And I'm like, this movie, like, you know, it wasn't, that movie, it did what it was supposed to do. Yeah. It's Spider-Man, you know. I yeah. Think, wait, Peter Parker can't be a good looking dude. Andrew Garfield, they're all good looking dudes. Every Peter Parker's been a good looking dude. I just think he didn't look like a nerd. He didn't look like, as far as like, he did like, Tom Holland. Is Peter Parker supposed to look like a nerd? He's supposed to be a little like nerdy. I always see him kid. just like a regular, you know, standard guy. Like, even the cartoon in the 90s made him too big and bulky like he was like he was like uh, isn't he uh, is he not supposed to be he's spider-man no, he's supposed to be pretty small spider-man's whatever. spider-man he's strong what? he's strong but he's supposed to be pretty like normal like sk- lanky little kid well like at least for the origin he's a smaller dude spider-man is scrapping spider-man throws cars and he's supposed to be he's supposed to be kind of big I mean, he's, that's Peter Parker right there. what superhero what superhero isn't big though but aren't all super if i got super he's like a gymnast body like he's he's pretty gymnast Cut. I, I'm not. They can be cut. I'm just saying he's not like six, seven, like a, like a pro wrestler kind of like body. He's like he's more slender. Okay, uh, cruiser well, yeah. weight. He's cruiser weight kind of style. Okay, yeah, but still, he he got to be kind of. I'm saying he could be ripped. He's very ripped yeah, and, and powerful. Ripped. I'm just saying he's more like cruiser weight size yeah, instead of like a super heavyweight. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, okay, I got you. That's what I was trying to get. At. Like, cause like oh, something like Scorpion okay. or something like that. Like like Venom was like a super heavyweight. He was yeah. bulky and roided up like Rage and. Yeah, Captain America is like yeah. A, Captain America is a big like pro wrestler kind of dude. Early. Yeah, I think like a Randy Orton or something like that would be like a Captain America kind of size. I feel like I have a bad person because like yeah, I get you ever look at like people on TV like yeah, that's a big guy, I guess. Yeah. but then like no, nah, like this is actually a f- giant. Yeah. actually, this is a giant individual. Yeah, that's how, that's how I feel about Randy Orton. Like I went to uh, Raw once and just seeing him in person was like holy shit, this dude's huge. Yeah, like he's massive. Yeah, <laughs> I met Shawn Michaels once, and he's like a big dude. You know, he's not like who, but I was like, yeah. oh shit, Shawn Michaels is fucking. He always looks short next yeah. to like Triple H and stuff or something. Yeah. But I was like, nah, Shawn Michaels is a big dude. I was like, oh okay. Billy Gunn, Billy Gunn's a massive dude. He's a big guy. So, I want to get swole one day. One day I'm gonna get real focused, and I'm gonna get Jack, and I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures, and then I'm gonna get fat again. <laughs> And then I'm showing my grandkids, like, hey, uh, I was swole back Steve in the day. You get booked in a Marvel movie, man. They'll get you on that diet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I got, if I did get Marvel, if I ever got hired, I would work my, I'd be, I'd be swoller than Jonathan Majors. I could be one of the blue screens. Nice. <laughs> That's funny. You could be, uh, nah, I'm not going to make fat jokes. <laughs> about you, man. I'm not going to do that. I don't care. That's shameless. It's uh, low hanging fruit. We're uh, above that in shameful comedy. thing. I sure. am. Taking this comedy thing serious, we don't do fat jokes anymore. I do. Fart <laughs> that's jokes. part of my. That's part of my slapstick is below me. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. Uh, speaking of AEW, so I heard you're, you said you were a fan. Yeah, man, I like. So I'm not like a like I like AEW. Like AEW, they're cool over there. I, I'm a fan of WWE, but I like AEW. I like them. So, like, do you watch both, or do you just kind of? Count I watch. More? I watch both. So every time I end up watching AW whenever I'm at Hunt Club, if I do an open mic there or something, or sometimes I check it out if somebody's like, "Hey, bro, they really got something crazy going on today." I'll be like, all right. I watch. But yep, they had they had it on when I went to the Hunt Club a couple weeks ago, and I got to watch Will Hobbs win the title there <laughs> at the open mic place. Happy to see it. Yeah, happy to see it. We Shout out Will Hobbs, dude. That dude's Will. awesome. Shout out Jade Cargill. Oh the yes, most gorgeous woman. On the I am still waiting for my figure for her. Like I haven't found her, and like, like I could order them. I kind of like the thing of like going actually to the store and the figure hunt. Like it's kind of cool to like go, like be in a Target or Walmart. Like oh, there's a Jay Cargill I've been looking for. It, there's something to that for me. Mm-hmm. So I kind of like doing that instead of just ordering the whole wave on Big Bad Toy Store or shit like that. Yeah, sometimes you gotta go out, read, you know, go out, get that oxygen. Yeah, go out and Target, Walmart. Oh. Like, no. Go to the store. You know, little toy store. Yeah, that's why I do, to take my son. Out, we gonna just go. I take him to the. I took him to this toy store the other day. This is a little like, uh, like vintage. Yeah, it had like toys, mm-hmm. board games, but you know, Lego, a lot of Legos, a lot of a lot of action figure stuff like that. Video games too, though, for his birthday. So I was trying to, you know, hey man, what do you want, man? Pick you out some stuff. And I was just looking. I was like, yeah, man, this stuff's expensive, but also, yeah. I want my son to like find something to collect. Like collect yeah. something, man. Whatever you want to do, figure something out. Yeah, because everybody should have a little something that you know they hold near. Yeah. Something they collect. I, what do I collect besides Delp? 
Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm a collector of debt too. Yeah, I definitely would come to your house, break your kneecaps. If you <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Dang, what do I collect, man? I don't collect anything. You said I'm, you talked about like uh, you wanted to collect some Funkos at one time. I want to, but uh, do I want to? I want to like I want to make a man cave one day. And in my man, I, w- I want to collect jerseys. I'm a big, or I love sports, so I want to get jerseys of all my favorite athletes, like uh, King Griffey. I used to have a King Griffey Jr., and I put it in the wash and fucked it up. Oh. And it was also super cheap. I bought it in Korea for like $20. It's okay. It's super fake. No, it's okay. And so uh, <laughs> let's not be too sad about it. <laughs> it was $20. How long were you in Korea? Uh, Nine months. Nine months. Fun. Was it just a personal trip? Or like no, when was... I was in the army. Oh, okay, uh, okay. We got sent out there. <laughs> okay. And then, yeah, I used to, I have bought a bunch of jerseys out there. Yeah, super fake. You can say what you want about you fake. I don't care, man. It was, you, if I never told you, you would have known. Who yeah. cares? Nobody looks that much into detail. And yeah. if you do, get off my dick. Uh, Why are you looking at me that hard? Yeah. Who cares? Go get like... some bitches. <laughs> like, you you looking at if my shirt's fake. Get some hoes. <laughs> <laughs> you staring at me? <laughs> You stare way too much at me. That's going to be the quote for the day. That's the quote. Get some bitches. That's going to be the clip right there. Please. Get some bitches. Get some bitches. Go go get another so pay shift. Pay the cheeks. Pay the cheeks. Or go work another shift. Do something. Go volunteer at the soup kitchen. Facts. Talk about some, hey, your jersey's fake. Yep. Now what? What are we going to talk about now? <laughs> and? And what's next? Moving on. Like, <laughs> Hey. Talk about it. Fake. Nah, I don't wear fake shoes. You can't wear fake shoes. I will not because you know, not talking about style. Just only because you have to wear those. And yeah. You wear fake shoes, you'll bust out them bitches. Yeah. You step in one puddle, your shoe'll explode. <laughs> True. Invest in your shoes. Take care of your feet. I, I'm learning that. Like I, I just bought a, a, a new pair of shoes from. Uh, there's a shoe company in. Uh, I don't want to say on camera, but like, yeah. Why not plug them? Or, you know, is it like. Well, a, I don't know if they'll like it on this kind of content. Oh, like, yeah. You know what I mean? like, oh, yeah. These guys are talking about fucking buttholes and yeah. stuff. Don't, 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 don't cut it. It's my... Brown Shoes Company. You know, it's like my, my ex roommate used to work there. Oh, okay. he works there. Uh, so, anyway, I got a, a good pair of shoes there, and like, it actually does make a huge difference compared to like cheap shoes. Yeah. Like, as far as like getting an actual good, good, solid shoe, especially for my big gut, my big feet and stuff. Go get yourself some insoles, some Dr. Show's insoles. Take care of your feet. You got to take care of it. Makes a huge difference, guys. Huge difference. You got to remember, you're going to have this body for the rest of your life. You got to take care of it. For me, a couple months. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> awful. <sighs> Don't say that. And then it happens. <laughs> no, I'm not listening. I'll say it. I'm losing weight, man. What are you getting at? Yeah. 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 Keep losing that yeah. weight. Lose all that weight. <laughs> Be impatient. Don't even wait on anybody. I thought about getting into crack or meth to see if I can lose some weight. <laughs> get into it. It's hard to get out of. That's true. It's hard, real hard to get out of. Don't do crack or meth unless you're serious <laughs> about it. We're going to cut this up. Just <laughs> no, joking. keep it. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Just that's gonna be the intro. Just don't do crack or meth. Just a little don't infomercial. Do or, don't do don't. drugs unless they're prescribed. We are sponsored by the Dare program. To your parents, get in that medicine cabinet, y'all. No, I'm kidding. That's what happened to what's her name on Euphoria. Got in her dad's pill stash. <sighs> now she's popping Vicodins every day and fucking snorting lines, getting robbed by drug dealers. Next thing you know, it's gonna be like Requiem for a Dream. I don't know if you ever watched that movie. What's that? You never watched Requiem for a Dream? I have not. Oh man, most high schools make you watch it. Uh, I might have. It's uh, it's a lot of movies where, like, yeah, they show them like, what's this again? It's like, about like it's like it's like about uh, it has Marlon Wayans in it, Jared Leto. Uh, it's about drug addiction, like different people going to different drugs addictions. Like one's in meth, one's in coke, one like a lady doing. Oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. And we like were. it gets dark. Yeah, no, as it should. It gets really dark. You have to put the fear of God in the kids. There's nothing you people gotta understand. This gentle parenting shit going on. No, you gotta put fear in kids sometimes. Like how they know? How they gonna know not to do it? How do I know not to touch a stove? Unless I got burned. 
You got to put that fear in the kids. Yeah. Got to put that fear into kids or they're going to do crack. <laughs> do you want your son or daughter to do crack? <laughs> no. So whoop their asses sometimes. It's okay. I know what you think. No, that would hurt my baby. Don't whoop your son once a year. Whoop your kids once a put year. It on the, put it on the calendar. Put it on. No, just like you got to keep it in your back pocket. Oh. It's like a reserve. You ever watch Yu Yu Hakusho? Say what? You ever watch Yu Yu Hakusho? <gasps> so in the show, protagonist Yusuke Yurimishi, uh, he, at first, he could only shoot. He had like a gun in his hand. Well, that's too much to explain. <laughs> but he could shoot it, but he could only do it once a day. So he saved it for, like, oh shit, my back's against the wall. Fly, you know, type shit. Oh, yeah. That's a euphemism for him jerking off. Like, Oh, no, <laughs> no. This is an actual gun. It's my one load a day. What? <laughs> Honestly, though. But <laughs> he would. So once a day, he could use it. Once a day. Once. One time. So his back was against the wall. Psh, he's shooting it. But, but. But what was I talking about again? I got high. I don't know. I was thinking. Cut that part out. Cut this part <laughs> out. Okay. I remember now. I remember now. We're composed. Woo! Uh, yeah, kids, don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. Please don't do drugs. Oh, no. Whoop your kids once a day. All right. Cut that other shit out. I remember now. Yeah. Whoop your kids once a year. Once, once a, year, a year, not once a day. But it got to be when they do some tr- truly terrible shit, like awful shit. Like, because you're going to do it. I mean, every kid, do- it's going to happen. Yeah, no kid's perfect. There's going to be some no, testing limits, such as how they happen you, when they grow up. It, you have to do, nobody's perfect. You got your ass beat before. You in prison now? Nope. Nope. There you go. Your parents did a somewhat decent job. Yeah. If you aren't on crack, if you are not in jail, if you're alive, uh, your parents did the best they could. I, uh, I had a conversation with my mom the other day about that. I was like, you know, as I went through, like, shit, I've been divorced twice, and, you know, had I had some shit going on in my ha- my history, but... Uh, you found two a, people that wanted to marry you. That's true. Some people find zero. That's true. Uh, but what I was getting at was, like, as I went through, like, I went through therapy and a whole bunch of shit afterwards, uh, you kind of come out the other side knowing, like... There's some people that have a lot of resentment to their parents, and you know, there's some things that you know, rightfully so, they, their parents were fucked up. But there's a lot of times where it's like their parents are just doing the best they could, and they're just they were just adults trying to adult as best they could. And you kind of relate to that the more you grow up and realize that you're an adult trying to adult the best you can. Oh, definitely. Oh. <laughs> Adulting's hard, man. Yes. It's, it's, <laughs> and yeah. it's just like you start to see, like, oh yeah, they're just people too. Yeah, of course. And th- they're, they're trying to. to- Get through life just like you. They also got to raise a baby. Yeah, I think there's that epiphany moment sometimes that we all have, and it takes us all different times. None of us are perfect. Yeah. Yeah. None of us are perfect. Sometimes you got to put the light bill in your kid's name. I can't afford my credit to get messed up. You got 18 years to go, buddy. No, I'm joking. (laughs) I was like, oh, God, this got dark. I'm joking. I'm joking. (laughs) Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm kidding. Oh, that's why I got those three credit cards in my wallet. There you go. No. <laughs> I hate credit, man. I never use. I use credit in absolute emergencies. I hate credit. I do too. If I can't buy it in one purchase, I just just won't buy it. Yeah. I just I use credit for emergencies. I'm very minimalist, man. I don't like a lot of flashy stuff. I I, I like what I need. I like my little pleasures. You know, I I, I, I you know my stuff. I like. You know, and that's it. Yeah. I don't need that extra stuff, man. I want to one day. When I get a lot of money, I'm going to buy a lot of extra stuff. But right now, man, I'm chilling. But when I'm balling, <laughs> just you wait. When I'm making billions, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not making billions, by the way. I hate when people tell kids they can be anything. You can't be anything. You can be a lot of things. You can't be anything. Nah. I don't know no kid that just sits down, I want to be a billionaire when I grow up. I'm like, come on now. All right, let's. It's possible. Yeah. Very low percent chance. My son says some stuff like that, but like, relax, bro. Well, I hate the fact that like someone would go like a hundred thousand there or something. I I don't know. I'm just like, I don't want to ever put it out where like the the label of billionaire, millionaire and stuff like that is the actual end all goal besides like how do you achieve that? That should be the byproduct. Exactly. You gotta and also 
being what? a billionaire is kind of unethical. Word. I feel like, don't get me wrong, if somebody offered me a billion dollars, like I said earlier in the episode, these values can be contradicted later. <laughs> Don't don't try to hold me to the <laughs> Hey, yeah, being a billionaire is bad. People are slaving away, laboring to make your products that made you a billionaire. If I got my own company, get to work. <laughs> make my shit. I got a billion dollars to make. Oh, no. I lost a wired headphone. If only I had a company like Raycon sponsoring today's episode. Raycon, I need headphones. You got shows to promote or anything? Oh, uh, let me pull out my handy day. Go right ahead, man. Calendar. Okay, so April 14th, I'll be at the Skyline Mansion. Okay. Uh, April 20th, I'll be at Hash on the Mic with Nicolo Gamora. Shout out to Nicolo. Shout out to Nicolo, one of my favorite. At the Sesh Lounge. Uh... April 21st, I'll be at the BA. I forgot the name of the place. Uh, follow me on Facebook, and I'll post it later. But it's going to be a show with Angela Teague. That's going to be a BA. I just don't have the name of the venue at this time. April 16th, I know I'm going backwards. Sorry, this I didn't put this in order. I'm sorry. It's all right. Uh, Rad Bar, I'm going to be at the Rad Bar in Oklahoma City. Look for me there. Nice. Uh, April 8th, I will also... Be in Oklahoma City. I'm posting that with two. I don't know the exact location yet. I'm slacking, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be more professional. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, that's what? all I got for the month of April. You got anything got... for May? Because like oh. this will be coming out in April. So that'll oh. be in May. Also May fifth, I'll be at that BA Theater again with Angela. Uh, I'll get the name of it one day. <laughs> the uh, Go Theater. <laughs> yeah, Go Theater. G E E. Yeah. Like yeah, that, G E A U X. Yeah, that, that New Orleans stuff. You yeah, go go. Yeah, hush puppies. All that. Yes, yes. The go theater. the go theater. The go yeah. theater. Go there. Go to go to the theater. Go ah. go. And then May twentieth, I'll be in Cleveland, Oklahoma. Nice. That'll probably be my last show. But no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm, jo- I'm joking. Uh, actually, when I was doing the Amazon stuff, I went to Cleveland, Oklahoma, and a dude chased me on his dirt bike. No shit. I thought that was going to be my last day. I said, ah, my mama told me about coming out to these parts. <laughs> I, said, I didn't listen. I didn't listen. He was like, hey, you're driving too fast. My kids are out here. And I'm like, I don't see any fucking kids. It's like, <laughs> it's like it's nighttime. It's like six o'clock. Daylight savings passed, man. What the hell? And then as he drives away, he fell. And then I said, oh my God. eat a dick. And then the universe, you know, was on my side. But then I got a written complaint that, like, that morning after, <laughs> like, you got reported for uh, reckless driving by a customer. And I was like, actually, eradicate that part, uh, because <laughs> Amazon. Actually, Amazon's not fucking watching this. Fuck you, Amazon. <laughs> fuck you. I got, even fuck no. Don't eradicate this. Fuck Amazon. The, I don't owe them nothing. The worst. Uh, I got a bad review on DoorDash once. Uh, the worst time I ever had on. The most weird, the weirdest thing I ever had on DoorDash is I had to do a shop and save order at Walgreens. We had to go like actually go shop the stuff and check out self checkout, mm-hmm. and they wanted me to go get a vibrating sex toy at Walgreens and self checkout it. So I did it, and you know, I'm, okay, and like I'm at the self checkout, I'm like, this is the weirdest DoorDash I've ever done. And the guy's like, I didn't even know we like sold those or could do that. I'm like, me either. So then <laughs> we get, I go and deliver it. And there's two people waiting on the front porch. And it's like 413 something. And there's two people in pajamas waiting on the front porch. And I'm like, uh, I'm the DoorDash here. And they're like, yeah, they're waiting. We're waiting for them to open. We've knocked on the door a couple times. I'm like, okay, I'll just leave it with you guys. They're like, yeah, okay. Because I'm like, this couple's trying to join this other couple with this vibrating sex toy for a you know event. Yeah, you a sicko if you make somebody DoorDash a vibrator for you. Then I drive around the corner and... And I marked it delivered, and I get a message from the the person that ordered it. Where's my delivery? I'm at four fifteen. I'm like, you put four thirteen on the thing. Oh well, they're coming over to this house this time. That's my bad. I'll get it. So then it started like dawning on me that this is like a neighbor thing of like a swingers party or something like that of like two couples. 
And exists, I brought over man. their dildo. That shit exists, man. <coughs> that shit is scary. Yeah. It exists. I mean, I don't judge y'all. I don't I judge do. either. But then I got a one-star review because I, d- I dropped it off to the wrong house. Even though they put the wrong address in at the swingers. I was pissed. I would have called the police on that house. <coughs> Something illegal's in there. I was so mad. Something's illegal's in there. I was so mad. Anybody that has you DoorDash a vibrator for them is they don't have a good grasp of reality. That's also rude. Like, why do I have to deal with the awkwardness of this purchase and I'm not even involved in the festivities? That's not fair to me. Can I show you what I did the other day? What'd you do, man? What'd you do? Uh, let me find the screenshot. <coughs> I sent it to Roscoe. Shout out to Roscoe. Shout out to Roscoe. Because I was laughing too hard at it. Uh, I was like, dating in 2023 is weird, right? Uh, it is. I wonder if people in 98 said that. <laughs> like, man, dating in 98 is fucking weird, isn't it? Like, yeah, I remember. <laughs> so... I'm okay. Uh, she'll she knows that okay. I she listens to this show. I'm, I'm dating this girl from Australia right now. Uh, Aww. well, she lives here, but like she's from originally from Australia. <coughs> um, and no, not yet. Well, like, we're not gonna say the L word yet. We're still t- we're only on a second date at this time. No, I'm kidding. I'm... But uh, <laughs> we were gonna, I was like, hey, do you want, I don't want to be like prepared for everything, so I'm gonna do a Walmart delivery order because I have Walmart Plus. Uh huh. And then my daughter was like, hey, did you forget to get that video game I wanted? I was like, sure. This is what I ordered for my delivery. Man. Guess who had to fill that? Some old lady named Brenda. <laughs> Brenda's like, what the fuck? <laughs> so do. then I started thinking, how much can I fuck with this order? So I'm like, I kind of want to start fucking with these orders and just doing the most random things. For the camera, I bought condoms and a Nintendo Switch game for my daughter on a delivery. <laughs> I feel like I, I'm not. <coughs> I'm not big into the other people shopping for me thing. I, what happened to what happened to privacy? Like I just buy your own stuff unless you're able. You just can't. Well, do I'm it. just saying if I have to go to Walmart and then actually ask for the Walmart employee to come get the glass case key so they can unlock the door so I can get these condoms, and then I have to go to the checkout and then I have you to have get to do my, all that. You then you have they to have go to the ID. Glass. And because you're over 18, if it scans up on self checkout, you have to get approved. Well, you can't buy condoms if you're under the age of 18. Mm-hmm. Well, that's dumb. They don't flag it for an ID. So if you but do, kids, so, you gotta use. If they try to teach kids sex education, what? You want kids to get each other pregnant? So why do you have to show ID? I don't know. Like so, like if you want to go, like I'm not gonna name the, t- the town I'm in right now, just for safety and stuff like that for kids. Uh, but like, yeah, if you go to my local Walmart, there's a glass case and it has all the condoms and stuff behind there, and it's locked. Supposedly, probably because people are stealing them or something like that. I get, I can't uh, blame them. Yeah, but then you have condoms. to like go through the thing of like, excuse me, I need some condoms out of the door or out of the. Oh, you'd be thing. weird about it. I would look them dead in the eye. Well, like, you, you got to do that. You got to make that announcement out loud. You oh, I say it super then, loud. Yeah, then I'm, you got to get that. And then I have no shame. I'm not scared of them. I'm a grown man. What? Hey, I'm having sex. Well, we can't. We can't all get the Magnum condoms, okay? Who says? Hey, brother. <laughs> hey, 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 man. Okay, hey, man. You're not denying it. I'm just saying. no. I mean, <laughs> it's not. Hey, man, condoms are condoms, man. If that lady letting you hit, she don't care what. She don't care. That's what, true. She don't care what it's wrapped up in. She likes you. It's it's a gift. There you go. It's a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift. <laughs> quick one. Quick gift. <laughs> quick gift. It's a quick gift. Quick gift. I need gifts, man. I need, I wish, I always see these comedians, they got like these super loyal fans. Oh man, this fan uh, got me this, gave me this at a show, yeah. paid this for me. I mean, my fans don't do that. All my fans do is heckle me. <coughs> I don't know what it is. I know, is. I love to get some fans, like some fan art and stuff like that from yeah. Unloading Meat and stuff like that. I'd put it up, I'd put it up on the, on the. Exactly. Yeah, make fan art, Unloading Meat. Yeah. Make some. Send that's appropriate. Way, guys. That's 100% appropriate. You can send it to unloadingmeat at gmail.com, guys. Safe for work materials. It could be slightly not safe for work. You know, I mean, I could. Nah, you don't want to open that jar, man. You give people. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, d- well, don't mention jars. I don't want jars. Hey, man. 
I don't, I don't know. They, I, they. <laughs> you just know you, some people when you when you give them a little bit, they take a mile. So True. some people don't have. That's what I said to my rapist. Uh, <laughs> I was thirteen. Um, and moving on. <laughs> What's going on? What's... Real talk on unloading meat. Uh, speaking of which, of like my my G, my uh, email and everything, we do have a segment that we use to close the show. It's called the preheat. I don't know if you heard about it. Tell me about it. So on the preheat, we're gonna go ahead and say the preheat. preheat oh, right it's now. hot! Ooh, we got the preheat. On the preheat, I grew up fat. Okay, as you can see, and my thoughts were growing up fat. You kind of want to think of the punchlines before they happen. Before you know, take the, the heat out of it before somebody can you know ridicule ridicule you or anything like that. So it's kind of like a pre roast kind of thing. Yeah. Where I know that I'm gonna get comments on YouTube for putting my image out there. I'm gonna get jokes about my image my weight all that stuff i will read them on air i'll read these comments on air however only if they include a picture of themselves so i can retort as that's fair so they can roast me during the preheat and i'll actually say it out loud but i get to roast them back live on air nice you think that's fair i think that's fair that's super fair yeah so for now I, I don't have any viewer mail yet we haven't got any comments yet um i'm actually thinking about um <clears throat> until we start getting the fan base going as far as you know raising uh doing part of this at certain like open mics something like that it's like some roast jokes or something like that and it's just like anybody have some roast jokes for me mm -hmm. and then we can kind of share them on air and like put on people's road like who actually wrote it or said it nice thought about doing that at some of the open mics that'd be dope yeah, you just including some... your best roast jokes about me like you can if you want to roast me roast the hell out of me that'd be yeah you'll get you might hear something you're like yeah. yeah this guy got me you also might hear nothing's worse than hearing a bad roast about you. Yeah, like I love when people actually like roast me, but when I hear like a bad roast, I'm like, now I'm just annoyed. Now yeah. I'm just like you insulting. Like, me. don't do the low hanging fruit. Like, actually put some effort into it. Yeah, uh, I'm yeah. gonna be uh, doing the roast of Castro and Joe Miller. They're doing their wedding reception. Mm -hmm. I want to be one of the roasters for them. I will also be really roasted. yeah. Nice. Yeah. I didn't know you were gonna be up there too. Yeah, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be so yeah, we're both gonna be roasted. Oh yeah, I can't wait. I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, so that means I get to roast you too. Yeah, right oh, there, bro. <laughs> yeah. Well, nice. speaking of which, do you I have any some... roast for me? Do you have any off the top of your head anything for me? You can <sighs> if you wanna if you wanna give an example to the preheat audience of what you could <sighs> do. Okay, preheat audience. No judgment. Uh, okay. Well, as I'm looking at your room, I'm okay. noticing a lot of figures. A lot of action figures. A lot of action figures. I don't want to. <laughs> no, you've been so nice. And I don't want okay, to. Okay. Hold on. Or, why would I roast you? That'd it's be, okay. We can cut this part. Yeah, I don't want to. I just, I don't know. That would be mean. You've been such a good host. Uh, I don't want to roast you, man. It's okay. I'm actually a good person. I think, <laughs> I'm actually, I think people think in my act, in my comedy stuff, man, this dude's a beta, man. He's fucking, he, he, he cooks people, man. He, yeah, but I don't like. And so, well, I do, but no, I don't know. <laughs> it's like I can't. You, I gotta be on guard. Like I yeah. gotta get hit. Then I'm like, pow! All right, pussy. <laughs> you know, I'm like Hulk. I gotta get angry. Yeah, yeah it's a roast. I gotta like get angry. I feel but you. I feel you. I'm. A, I got some. I'm gonna write some stuff. For, write got, some for me. Uh, I'm gonna do the. I need to find out who else is on it. Who else is on it? I. You're the first person I know besides me so far. Uh, I know there's other people. I just haven't. Interact with people like on the list. I'm a yeah. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a. Cause I, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to use my stuff on you just yet. Then we'll, we'll say. However, we'll cut it. I got a good. I got to research you. I didn't okay. have this conversation with you today, so now I'm gonna. Hey, it's gonna some, help me too. Yeah, you've learned. See, see, this is a good. I don't even know how the how it's gonna work as far as like what's the format gonna be at the roast the at their thing or anything like that. Is One thing it, I've learned about roast is. Uh, they usually shit hits the fan pretty quick. Usually, people usually say hey, this is just what it is. People usually drunk because it's a roast, so they celebrating something. Yeah. So they celebrating a wedding too. Folks gonna be drunk as hell. Uh, they just, it's gonna be a fun time though. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun time. Well, man. Uh, thank you so much for being on. Oh, I also want to oh, shout out, uh, guys. If you want to put your, uh, if you want to have your submissions on the preheat, you could send them. To unloadingmeat.com. Oh, I'm sorry, unloadingmeat at gmail.com, subject preheat. And uh, we'll read them on here as long as you include a photo. 
Yeah, you gotta you gotta send the photo. Don't get all cute in the photo either. Send that ugly shit. Yeah, I send, don't need your Tinder profile like photos. Yeah, we need we don't need that doctored filtered stuff. If you trying to talk shit, we need to see you when you wake up in the morning. Take a picture instantly, then send that in. Yeah, the minute you wake up, crust in your eyes. If you want to roast us, I'll, we need to roast you guys. Yeah, you wanna you wanna talk shit. You wanna talk shit. You wanna run your mouth. You want some gangsters in your motherfucking house? We'll set this bitch. Oh no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Start breaking down the song. <laughs> Sorry. Nah. <laughs> yeah, send your stuff though. Send your pictures. Yeah. And uh send pictures of, of your your significant others too. <laughs> Let's talk about them too. While you're at it. That's one thing. <laughs> yeah. That too. You were talking earlier about how your Instagram, how like you know, it's getting flooded with people's boot like butts and stuff like that. And you're not even following it. Now you're talking about like, if you have significant other sin photos. No, we can talk shit about them too. <laughs> oh, 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 no, I'm not a pervert. Oh, no, no, gross. No, not like that. Not like that. Not like that. No, no, no. I don't want to see your. Oh, no. Okay, no. I think that's I think that's going to be a great ending to the show. What do you think? I think that's a perfect ending to the Cepeda, show. Cepeda, my friend, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, where can they follow you guys? Follow you at? On Twitter, I'm Stand Up Peta. On Instagram, I'm a Cepeda, like I M M A Cepeda. On uh, Facebook, Cepeda Cheeks Comedy. On YouTube, Cepeda Cheeks Comedy. Uh, TikTok, Cepeda Cheeks. Uh, it's deleted right now, but I upload on there. I re-download it, upload a clip, delete it. Uh, you know, happy medium. Yeah. You know, you gotta uh, uh, put your toe in the pool. Yeah. Out. Well, man, it, thank you so much for coming on. It's been a pleasure. Having. This has been a hell of a conversation. Uh, I look forward to working with you more in the future, especially at the roast. For sure, I'm looking forward to working with you as well. Well, take care, man. Thanks, you guys, for tuning in, and unloading me. I'm Jared Ralphie Allen. He's been Cepeda. Take care. Great time.